Prime Minister firmly believes we need to focus on four major castes. They are Garib, Mahilaye, Yuva, and Annadatta. Their needs, their aspirations, and their welfare are our highest priority. The country progresses when they progress. Ayushman Bharat, healthcare cover under Ayushman Bharat scheme will be extended to all ASHA workers, to all Anganwadi workers and helpers. Housing for middle class. Our government will launch a scheme to help deserving sections of the middle class and I quote from Honorable Prime Minister's words, living in rented houses or slums or chawls and unauthorized colonies, unquote, to buy and build, to buy or build their own houses. 83 lakh SHGs, 83 lakh SHGs with nine crore women are transforming rural socio-economic landscape with empowerment and self-reliance. Honorable Speaker says their success has assisted nearly one crore women to become Lakpati Didi already. They are an inspiration to others. Their achievements will be recognized through honoring them. Buoyed by the success, it has been decided to enhance the target for Lakpati Didi from two crores to three crores. For our tech-savvy youth, this will be a golden era, a corpus of one lakh crore rupees will be established with 50-year interest-free loan provided. The corpus will provide long-term financing or refinancing with long tenors and low or nil interest rates. This will encourage, this will encourage the private sector to scale up research and innovation significantly in sunrise domains. 40,000 normal rail bogies will be converted to Vande Bharat standards to enhance safety, convenience, and comfort of passengers. Rooftop solarization and muft bijli. Through rooftop solarization, one crore households will be enabled to obtain up to 300 units free electricity every month. Following benefits are expected. Savings up to 15 to 18,000 rupees annually for households from free solar electricity and selling the surplus to the distribution companies. As for tax proposals, in keeping with the convention, I do not propose to make any changes relating to taxation and propose to retain the same tax rates for direct and indirect taxes, including import duties. Over the last 10 years, the direct tax collections have more than trebled and the return filers swelled 2.4 times. I would like to assure the taxpayers that their contributions have been used wisely for the development of the country and welfare of its people. Introduction of updated income tax returns, a new form 26 AS, and pre-filling of tax returns have made filing of tax returns simpler and easier. Average processing time of returns has been reduced from 93 days in the year 2013-14 to a mere 10 days this year, thereby making refunds faster. Honorable Speaker, sir, I propose to withdraw such outstanding direct tax demands up to 25,000 rupees pertaining to the period 
up to financial year 2009-10 and up to 10,000 rupees for financial years 2010-11 to 2014-15. This is expected to benefit about a crore taxpayers. One crore taxpayers would benefit out of this. The industry has acknowledged the benefits of GST. According to a recent survey conducted by a leading consulting firm, 94% of industry leaders view the transition to GST as largely positive. The biggest beneficiaries are consumer, consumers as reduction in logistic cost and taxes have brought down prices of most goods and services. We have taken a number of steps in customs to facilitate international trade. As a result, the import release time declined by 47 percent to 71 hours at inland container depots, by 28 percent to 44 hours at air cargo complexes, and by 27 percent to 85 hours at seaports over the last four years since 2019. The revised estimate of the fiscal deficit is 5.8 percent of GDP, improving on the budget estimate notwithstanding moderation in the nominal growth estimates. We continue on the path of fiscal consolidation as announced in my budget speech of 2021-22 to reduce fiscal deficit below 4.5 percent by 25-26. The fiscal deficit in 2024-25 is estimated to be 5.1% of GDP adhering to that path. 